Hey everyone, Mac here from My Nerds Leisure World, and today we're going to be taking a look at our 2020 Open Range Light 312 BHS. So there's some features I want to showcase on the exterior, and then we'll dive into the interior, the floor plan, all that fun stuff as well. So starting at the front of the coach, I like to note that this has a three-quarter molded front cap. They've got some nice automotive grade paint here in the blacks and the grays. Gives it nice accenting. We have dual 30 pound propane tanks, which are really great. A power tongue jack, which you'd expect. And coming along this side, you'll see we are also uh, solar panel prepped using the Furion system. So that uh, aftermarket kit is available. We have our pass-through baggage compartment here. Very spacious, very open inside with motion sensor lights. And of course, they do nice thick baggage doors with these magnetic catches. So they're very durable. They last a long time. I'm a big fan of that. Along our campsite, you'll notice dual awnings. This is going to give you the most amount of shade in your campsite as possible. They are 12 volt power. You'll see this one has the speakers in the heads there, as well as LED light strips in both awnings. We also have our upgraded solid steps from LCI. These are great. They'll actually flip up inside the coach for travel. And you'll notice these feet actually make contact with the ground. So they're very sturdy and uh, they are individually adjustable too. So it'll fit any terrain. I also want to mention here, we've got this green um, laser cut metal uh, bracket here. That's actually for clipping a dog leash or a pet leash on so they don't run away on you. At the very back on our campsite, we run into our outdoor kitchen. Now this is done in open range fashion. They do a great job of their outdoor kitchens. So steel uh, powder coated drawer to bring out your cooktop and plumbed in sink. So this will drain into the gray tank. I like that they've given this cutaway for a proper tap uh, rather than the quick connect ones, just less chance of leaking. There is a bit of storage up here as well. And then of course our outdoor refrigerator. Now your two burner cooktop has its own dedicated propane quick connect underneath. We actually have a second quick connect at the very back. And this could be for any other auxiliary item that you like, probably a barbecue or even one of those mobile fire pits, both would be doable. So now at the very rear of the coach, there's just a couple more features. We have a solid rear ladder to get up onto your walkable roof or backup camera prep, same Furion system, just like the solar panel. We have an exposed bumper, so if you have one of those RVQ kits with the swing away arm, that would be perfect with that second propane quick connect. And then also our docking station right at the back here. So this is where we'll connect to our city water. Uh, we also have hot and cold outdoor shower, and then also our black tank flush, all right there, very accessible. And they give us these small little windows You'll see they rotate all the way around and out of the way so that you can run your hoses into that docking station and be able to leave it closed up. A little cleaner look. So we've just entered the 312 BHS and there's already something to talk about. That is our control panel. So this is where we're gonna control a large majority of the stuff in the coach, all of our slide outs, both of our awnings. Um, we can control our water pump, our water heater, whether it's on electric or gas, all of our tank levels. Uh, this is kind of the heart and soul of everything. So now entering our main living and kitchen area of the coach, I do want to know we have a nice barreled ceiling and a wide body on this trailer. So it's a big open feel with these opposing slides, just really spacious. We also have no carpet inside, all linoleum. So very easy to keep clean. Open range is the only ones that do that. So here in our kitchen, we have this nice hutch setup. Of course, our cabinets up above, they do a solid a uh, hardwood front on all their cabinetry, and then wood core construction after. They also do on the hutch, uh, just a trimless countertop, so you don't have that vinyl trim that'll be shrinking and popping out. The rest are solid surface countertops, but a couple of power outlets, tons of drawers, so you can keep everything organized. You can see that there, whole row of them. We have our furnace inlet, and of course our converter. On our kitchen slide, we have our eight cubic foot two-way RV refrigerator, nice stainless steel panels to finish it off. Carrying on with the pet theme of this trailer, there are uh, pet dishes in that drawer beneath the refrigerator. So when your pet's done, you can just stash them away really easily. We have the three burner bifold cover Furion cooktop. They do the nice cast iron grate on top and below the matching pots and pans drawer. 
So really nice finish there. And then in our island, of course, more storage. Nice large open compartment here and then some more storage underneath the sink. Just a little bit less. So of course with these opposing slides, it opens up the opportunity to have an island. So you have good prep space here on the solid surface countertops. They include a bamboo cutting board or sink cover, as well as this roll up stainless steel drying rack. Now you see this is a large undermounted stainless steel sink with a residential faucet. It's overall a really nice setup. So really quickly, we'll cover our entertainment stand still on the kitchen slide. There's a couple of overhead compartments, great for storage. I love those spring catches that are gonna keep it upright for you. The TV, of course, goes down into the countertop. It is a flush mount fit, which is really, really nice. Opens up that non-campside window, brings more light in for you. Below that is our sound bar, along with an electric fireplace. So pair that with the really good insulation of the open range, and most people can heat their trailer with electricity. This is basically a space heater during a normal season. So that's kind of your spring, summer, very early fall. Um, but pair that with your furnace on board and you're gonna be really comfortable in colder temperatures. Now onto the campsite slide, you'll see a nice row of windows with the pleated fabric shades. Those do a great job of blocking light and they last a long time. They're also silent when you're walking around. I love that. You'll also notice the King U dinette. Now Open Range has been doing this for a while and we love when they do. They've newly designed it now. So they still do the dual table setup, which you can take out and stow away underneath. They've upgraded the locking mechanism for the table legs though, so when they're actually locked in place, they're a lot sturdier. Uh, they've also changed how the U-Dinette will turn into a bed. It's a lot more like a tri-fold sofa, so you can actually pull it out. There's no air mattress involved, and it's again a full queen size. I really like that. Uh, I think it was needing the lack of an air mattress and they pulled it together for us. A big bunkhouse model like this, food space and storage is key. So they've given us a little bit extra pantry space all along this wall. Just a nice little bonus that you don't normally see. A lot of campers would leave this wall blank, but it gives you just that extra little space for the family. So finally, onto the bunkhouse. Uh, this is gonna be a true four sleeper bunkhouse. We of course have two top bunks, two bottom. This side is a dinette, which will convert into a bed very, very easily. Um, if you use it primarily as a bed, you can leave it in bed mode. There's no problem with that. The top bunk here will flip up and out of the way using a hinge system very reminiscent of what Grand Design uses. So uh, they've recognized the quality there, uh, but it opens up more light when you're using the dinette, more headspace, which is really nice. Now on this side is where we're gonna see the bulk of our storage, uh, also our largest bunk beds. So I'm gonna quickly cover the storage first. We of course have all these cubbies here as well as a TV mounting location uh, with the hookups so you can mount a TV in here. Underneath this bottom bunk, they actually give us this little tab. You can lift it up and use a gas shock to assist you. All that storage in there. It's a really nice open space. You can organize it how you like. And below that, a nice large drawer. So really smart there. And then even more still, we have these two cabinets as well. Now it's gonna to be tough with the camera angle, but they are hanging closets and they're quite deep. So that's pretty nice. And then two shelves on the bottom there. So to finish off uh, our tour of the bunk room, I wanna show off these large double bunks. These are gonna be the big ones. So if you have young kids worried about them falling off, you're not going to have that same worry here. They're very, very deep, a true double bed size. Um, some of the biggest bunk beds I've seen in a true four sleeper bunk room. So here we are in the bathroom right across from the entry door. You'll notice a foot flush porcelain bowl toilet, a heat vent there underneath the shower, and a true triple pane glass door entryway into the shower. It's got a nice deep basin if you do need to bath a baby and lots of elbow room. We have AC vents in the ceiling as well as a powered fan in our vent. Across from the toilet, we have our mirrored medicine cabinet with storage in behind, and then a nice vanity with uh, counter space beside the sink and three drawers. So finally, last but not least, we are in the very front of the coach in the master bedroom. A few things I wanna point out. We have a true queen size master bed. This is a residential size. Lots of storage all the way around like you'd expect in any trailer. 
The overhead compartment here is completely passed through, but they finish it off with a nice cabinet doors. We have hanging space on either side of the bed, but more than that, they actually left a little bit of room here for bedside tables. Now, each side of the bed is going to have their own power outlets. They also have another uh, pre-wire system for a Furion. It's actually a mobile uh, speaker. You can get that aftermarket. Each side is going to have their own drawer. And then carrying on with our storage is our wardrobe. Again, very Grand Design-esque. So these guys have done something really interesting. They do an overhead compartment here, washer dryer prep down below, so you can see it's nice and open for that, as well as a hanging rod. So it effectively doubles your storage space if you're not going with the washer dryer. Now another neat feature of the master bedroom is the laundry chute, and they finish it off quite well. You probably wouldn't notice unless I pointed it out. So this, of course, is our pass-through baggage compartment. When you lift this little hatch, it goes right inside. So you can have a laundry basket there when you set up at your campsite, and all the dirty clothes just go straight into there. They're not littered all around the rest of the trailer. If anybody camps, they know that's a problem. Now, another new feature for 2020, and this is very special, is actually a small dog kennel. So we have a metal door here, which just simply latches, and then they include this stay cool small pet bed inside. So if you'd like to turn this half of your underbed storage into a kennel, you absolutely can. It's really neat. Well, I'd like to thank you for coming along on this tour of the 2020 Open Range 312 BHS. There's a few things to remember about this coach. Um, very high quality, very well insulated, and tons of neat features like the drop-down TV, the true four sleeper bunk room with the large, large bunks, We've got that neat new uh, kennel underneath the master bed, as well as a great outdoor kitchen. Um, I also want to mention that King Yu. That's a great update. I don't want to forget that. Now, keep in mind, we have a ton more inventory. So if you want to see everything we carry, check us out at minardsleisureworld.com. And also keep in mind, we now have two locations to serve you better, one in Watrous and one here in Weber. Hope to see you soon.